Hello and welcome to another one pan recipe meal from me. This was a really good throwback from uh, when we were in Spain and we were travelling with Em and Lou for a little bit and uh, it's been good seeing some of the footage around it. However, we have two meals in this one and uh, the first one is typical me of trying to get a normal meal in a bowl so you can just eat it with a fork. So to try and make something a whole lot simpler by making it more complicated, which is typical, which is fajitas in a bowl. There's about five different versions of this one. This one is a simple one with the tortilla wrap mixed in with everything else. And on the end of it is a leftovers, meatballs in tomato sauce with garlicky cheesy croutons on top. So let me know what you think. Obviously, there are always veggie options for this, uh, especially with the fajitas, because they do some really good corn uh, fajita strips that they, you can chuck in and, and easily do that. And there's veggie meatballs wherever you look. So nice and easy to change and make that into a veggie meal. Hearty enough for everybody. So today's meal that John won't like is turning chicken fajitas into a one bowl meal instead of it being like a pickle pinion hand and stuff it in your face. So, I've got chicken, that's a half a packet of fajita spice left and some extra bit of barbecue sauce. Got some long grain rice that'll cook up nicely, some vegetables to go in, cheese for on top. And what I'm going to do with these is we're going to slice them up into little thin pieces about that big. And we're going to add them to the pan as well and mix it all up so you literally will eat it with a fork and it should just taste exactly like it would do if it was wrapped up and stuffed in your face. So what am I cooking that John won't like? That's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> it is something that is messy and stew-like, which considering the food that I tend to cook for John, lots of it is kind of messy and stew-like. However, John likes chicken fajitas because he likes to be able to pick them up and go, om, yum, yum. Whereas now I'm trying to make him eat it with a fork. So, you know, it's those kind of things. So what it is, is one pan fajitas um, in a bowl, but without obviously putting them in a wrap. So basically, it goes down to cubed chicken, some cubed vegetables. So I've got mushrooms, peppers and um, onions and some sliced um, tortillas. So I'm going to put all of that in the pan with a packet of rice and all the spices and things. And then we're just going to eat it straight from the bowl with a bit of cheese on top. So first I'm going to fry off the chicken and the vegetables just a little bit because I'm going to end up putting some water in there with the rice and everything to cook everything down. So that will finish cooking the chicken off. Um, so nice and simple at first. Get the chicken and the veggies in there and just get a bit of colour on them if you can. Now that's all in the pan and um, give it a really good stir. Just going to give it five minutes in the pan and then I'm going to pop the fajita mix on a little bit and then some water and then I'm going to add the rice. And so that's reduced down a lot. It's gone down from 200 ml to reckon about 50 ml but it looks like it's a bit more in there. So I'm going to add the, um, the tortilla bits and give them a stir around and maybe a dab more barbecue sauce because yeah, I've only got half a pack of the um, the tortilla spices um, and once they're warm through and it's soaked up a bit more of the water I'm going to plate them up and chuck some cheese on the top So I do this every time, don't I? I have to choose I put both plates out and then John has to pick Springy cheese mm. Does it taste like fajitas in a bowl? I guess so Yeah <laughs> That's what happens when I force John to eat food Mmm, I'm getting cracking on that one. So, more important than my opinion, what's your opinion of it? Is it what you thought it was going to be? Yes. Okay. And the tortilla that's in it is really nice because it's kind of melting your mouth a bit more because mm. it's been warmed through and soaked into the um, fajita juices. Reminds me of a burrito more than a tortilla because the burrito is like really soft and gooey by the time all your stuff soaked into it. Yeah, because you put that much stuff in it, yeah. then it just it changes the flavour of the wrap altogether, doesn't it? So, yeah, so I'd say burrito in a bowl. Burrito in a bowl. Sounds better too. Yeah. What do you think though? You like it? I do. Are it's missing it oh, It's missing guacamole. Ah, if okay. I could get guacamole in it, that'd be wonderful. But yeah, I'll do it again. Will you eat it again? Yep, yeah, go on then. Mmm. So I'll just do a quick run through of this meal for today. We are having 
pork meatballs with gnocchi and a tomatoey, creamy tomatoey sauce because I'll put some Greek yogurt in there as well with sweet corn and mushrooms and these are a little bit on the stale side so I'm going to chop them up into bits and put a bit of garlic butter on and we'll have some cheesy garlic butter croutons on top of it all. So there's everything in there, meatballs, gnocchi, mushrooms, sweet corn, tomato puree, oregano, basil, salt and pepper. Just bung it all in that pan. I have some garlic butter and I have cut up my little cheesy bap. I'm smothering it in butter at the minute. And that's it just out from under the grill. Lovely bubbly cheers. Mm -mm -mm. And underneath there, meatballs and nookie and veggies. Mm. You eating before I record in you, banana. <laughs> I was slightly hungry. Yeah. Mm. Well, what do you reckon? It's really nice. And there's stuff left in the pan. Wow. So it's, uh, I think it, the, the bread bulked it out a lot. Let's see how far we get then, eh? Mm. <laughs> num, 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 num. Mm. I do want to make a point though. What's that? That last time we included just a few meals, one that you made from scratch and then one that just a bits and bobs. People assumed in that 45 minute video that we'd eaten two massive meals. Yes. Obviously that's based over seven days. Yes, it's a whole week's worth of food, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you just get little quick ones like this of me saying, I'm just going to chuck all this in the pan. Yeah. Um, just so you can see things that we're eating. Yeah. Just so it's not like we, because otherwise we'd have one meal a week. Mm. <laughs> yes, and this is a, this is an old favourite, and it was mm. done in Spain, I think, last time. Yep. Um, but just in case you haven't watched the videos that far back, here it is. So there you go. What did you think? Nice and simple. I did cook a whole lot more then. I mean, this video had three meals in it that we'd cooked, and it didn't even cover a week, I don't think. So it's a, uh, it's definitely something I need to get back into doing a little bit more. I think. Uh, just it's simple and easy at the moment uh, whereas all I did back then was think about food to cook everybody so uh, so yeah did a cheese and onion pie chucked in on the end of this so I need to dig out that recipe and make a, a full video for that because that cheese and onion pie is is stunking it's one of the best recipes I've ever made but I'm, I digress as usual so yes, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if there's any swap outs, anything else that you'd like to do differently, anything that you suggest maybe for me to try for something different, even though I've got, I haven't got an oven, but I'm sure I can work something out. So take care, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.